All right, I'm here at this rally to support Danny Lim, a Sydney icon who was treated really roughly last week. It's part of a worrying trend for law and order in New South Wales. Police have the power to move on people and to break up any gatherings. Check out the Crown Management Act. Consorting is also a crime, which means if you know two people who have a criminal record, you can't spend time with both of them, basically. Um, that's a very old law that for some reason Australia has just become interested in again recently. Um, but it's not just traditional methods of policing that are getting more heavy handed. New South Wales is also struggling to legislate well for the future. Uh, you can be imprisoned for 14 years if you own a file um, for 3D printing a gun. A Sydney cider using an electric scooter on the footpath with a helmet was issued with five separate fines and apparently the police said that there were um, other fines that could have been issued if they'd wanted. So that seems pretty vindictive. But um, these electric scooters are already out there. So let's regulate them sensibly. Queensland is ahead of us in this regard. Any um, Anything that allows people to not use a car for short trips should be viewed as an opportunity to um, reduce congestion and get cars off the road. Now also, um, police in New South Wales are also looking for the ability to shut down music festivals because pill testing is just too scary, it seems. I think that's a subject for a whole other video. So um, vote for your pro-civil liberties candidates in the upcoming New South Wales election on March 23rd to put checks and balances on this sort of thing and support an Australian Bill of Rights.